This is 7 National News and in our top story, the 14th edition of the Arab Media Forum organized under the patronage and presence of UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum will kick off tomorrow at Medina Jumeirah in Dubai. The two-day event organized by the Dubai Press Club under the theme New Perspectives will see more than 2,000 media elites, intellectuals, researchers from more than 27 Arab and foreign countries. The forum will discuss a range of new trends and their impact on the Arab media landscape, as well as ways to develop the media industry in the Arab world. The AMF will also host the 14th Arab Journalism Award on the evening of the 13th to recognize journalistic excellence in Arab media and reward winners from 5,008 participants in this edition. The Khalifa Foundation has intensified its relief efforts to assist those affected by the devastating earthquake in Nepal, especially in the areas hard hit during the calamity. The foundation's team distributed quantities of shelter materials, blankets, tents and foodstuffs to over 4,000 people in the areas affected by the quake. According to a report by Emirates news agency WAM, an official source at the foundation stated that the foundation's team, based in Kathmandu, Kathmandu have distributed the relief aid in seven villages in the north of Kathmandu, adding that the foundation ordered a convoy of 95 trucks from India to Nepal, carrying hundreds of tons of humanitarian aid to displaced persons whose homes were destroyed in the earthquake. In coordination with the UAE Embassy in India and the Nepalese Red Crescent, the team purchased the humanitarian aid materials from India market to transport them by land to Nepal. Health chiefs in Abu Dhabi have developed a new quality index aimed at driving up standards in the healthcare sector in the UAE capital. Healthcare Authority Abu Dhabi had are revealing details of the Abu Dhabi Healthcare Quality Index at the HADS and Mead Middle East Patient Safety and Quality Congress opening today, which according to officials quoted in local reports, is a comprehensive and transparent quality framework that will be the first in the region. The new index will initially focus on hospitals, but clinics and other healthcare facilities will be added later with the framework to define a uniform set of globally informed standards that will be used to evaluate providers in all aspects of their quality performance. Additionally, officials from HAD stated that the final framework will specify quality standards and performance targets to ensure consistent apl application by regulators and providers and guide quality improvement efforts in the future. Benchmarks for measuring quality include the standardized mortality rate, timeliness of care, patient satisfaction, and measures of processes. And parents who wish to ensure their children's safety while using public transport in the Emirate of Abu Dhabi can now book taxis fitted with child car seats. According to local reports, the child seats are already available in about 10 family vans provided by the TransAd, with residents able to book a family van by calling the TransAd call center and placing a special request for the car seats if they are needed. Officials responsible for the initiative also stated that vans drivers would also be educated about the importance and use of the safety seats. According to statistics from the Abu Dhabi Health Authority, Injuries are the second leading cause of death in the Emirate, with 12% of all deaths caused by road traffic accidents. In addition, these road traffic accidents are the main cause of death among children and are accountable for 60% of child fatalities each year. Previous HAD studies have also found that more than about 98% of children are unrestrained during car trips and about 20% travel illegally in the front seat. Officials have therefore stressed that the use of age-appropriate car safety seats can reduce up to 80% of all fatal injuries caused by road traffic accidents. They also emphasized the need to dispel the myth that children are safest in their mother's arms when traveling. Department of Transport officials also said there are plans to extend the availability of car seats 
to regular taxis, adding that the DOT was also working to provide brochures that will explain how to choose appropriate car seats for children and encourage their use on all car journeys. And officials from Dubai police have reported that 177 children were found left in their parents' cars in the last 15 months, with police adding that many of the children were saved moments before they risked suffocation. Most of the children were found in cars parked in shopping malls and public parks, with police stating in the Arabic newspaper uh, that such incidents are a result of negligence and lack of awareness on the part of parents. Major Abdullah Ali Muhammad, the Director of Land Rescue at the General Department of Transport and Rescue, added that out of the 137 children rescued, 40 were in the first quarter of 2015. According to Major Muhammad, Bird Dubai tops the list of places where children have been found left in their parents' cars, with other major areas including Jabal Ali, Al Ghusais, Al Rifa'a, and Al Barsha. Police officials explain that most children experience a panic attack once they find that they cannot open the car door and are left alone, and that these panic attacks stimulate a feeling of suffocation. Police also voiced concerns that with the upcoming increase in temperature, such incidents can prove extremely dangerous and even fatal. The Roads and Transport Authority of Dubai has announced Phase 2 of the traffic diversions on Al-Wasl, Al-Hadiqa and Al-Athar roads, which will be implemented shortly. New road markings have already been placed on the three road stretches, with Al-Hadiqa Street diversion also seeing the removal of the existing boundary wall for Al-Safa Park. The RTA has also stated a new boundary for the community park has been constructed with the agency adding that al Hadiqa Street has witnessed the completion of a series of construction activities, including diverting the existing Itisalat electricity, water and irrigation lines, as well as roadworks for the traffic diversion phase two with street lights and traffic signals in place. And finally, in the bulletin, Dubai's Rashid Center for Disabled held the Rashid Sports Festival earlier today with the, sports of Al, with, the, with the support of Al Nasser Sports Club to raise awareness and understanding about disability issues in the Gulf community. The event was attended by a number of celebrities and officials who played a friendly basketball match with the students from the center. Children from other schools also attended the event in support of the disabled students. The match was then followed by a prize ceremony where all participants were awarded in recognition of their efforts. According to the organizers, such events are greatly important to raise awareness about including the disabled with the society. The Rashid Center aims to provide high-quality integrated education services and therapies for children with special needs. The center's purpose is to develop children's abilities to function and learn within their environments, that is home, school and community, and to develop maximum independence and participation in these environments. وأرحب بممثلي وثان الإعلام على اختلافها وتعدد It's not the first time that we do it, but this is the first year that we take that, that big scope. And uh, the message is clear is to make uh, the children of the center feel that they are part of the society because they are really part of the society. And this game, the basketball game where they were on their feet, and we were on the chair, uh, on, on the chairs also. Uh, it's a clear message that these uh, children are really a part of the, a, an integrated part of the society. With the ribbon dancing, ribbon dancing, it, it was fun. And um, we did play, uh, play uh, baske, uh, basketball and that was exciting and I, I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, I think it's good, it's good. I, I liked it, I like to have more events on this uh, every, well, uh, I like to, this is like every year we have this and I, I, uh, I like to have it again. Yeah, and I enjoyed it a lot.